हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स डिस्कस दिस ऐसे हैंड दैट रॉक्स द क्रेडल रूल्स द वर्ल्ड इट वाज आस्ट इन यूपीएससी 2021 मेंस ऑन सेवेंथ जनवरी 2022 हैंड दैट रॉक्स द क्रेडल रूल्स द वर्ल्ड पालना झुलाने वाले हाथों में ही संसार की बागडोर होती है सो पालना किसके हाथों में होता है एंड हुज हैंड लाइज द क्रेडल हु रॉक्स द क्रेडल माधव and cradle is a place where a baby resides so this essay says that those who have been given the task of rocking the cradle in the sense mothers they have a very responsible duty to perform and it is so important that the that we can say that they rule the world this responsibility is so important the future lies in their hand our future is decided by how the babies are being rocked in the way how those babies are being attended by their mother this is a very straightforward interpretation of this topic and i want you to look beyond it because obviously this essay is calling uh, for celebration of motherhood which we indeed will do but i want you to look for beyond that and make some interesting interpretations there and as we proceed we will we will see what else we can write in this essay beyond uh, beyond celebrating motherhood so uh, hand that rocks the cradle rules the world first of all how do we make an introduction on this how do we make an introduction where we celebrate motherhood now one of the favorite ways one of my favorite ways is to use binary of positions and here i will use that method again life and death are ultimate realities of our existence life and death are ultimate re- realities of our existence while death and destruction can be caused by anyone while death and destruction can be unleashed by anyone the capability and onus of creation lies in the hands of a select few only a select few can perform creation and in their hands lies the destiny of our country our society our civilization with this thought i would proceed now a woman uh, who bears a child who is nursing a child or feeding a child what images come to your mind when you think of a woman bearing a child or babysitting a child a delicate sensitive fragile person who has withdrawn from all economic activities who is weak who needs your support uh, who cannot go and fight for a war basically some weak something weak which is some kind of liability that is how it has been represented in our culture or in cultures of most of the countries for most of the time but if truth be spoken that fragility that that fragile thing it holds the strings of our future because with her delicate hands she not only swings the cradle she rather pushes the entire civilization forward that is a great task which she is doing if no new members in a society are being added how will a society survive and move forward so these uh, philosophical deliberations now we have made the beginning in this essay now we will explore some content here now these philosophical deliberations they are not just for classroom discussions of of for, they are not just for some they are not just some abstract ideas but they have very practical relevance and they have already started making some positive impact as we see that the state government and the central government from time to time it keeps coming up with many initiatives and policies designed to improve the health of a mother and her child like jani suraksha yojana like free food and vaccination programs for uh, expectant mothers or unconditional cash transfer schemes such kind of initiatives are launched from time to time because the government and the governance models it accepts the fact that it is more efficient and less costly to intervene at earlier stages so rather than trying to improve the health of a child who is 10 years or 14 years old it is more efficient and less costly if you intervene early when he is still in the womb of his mother 
or he is just an infant and uh, these policy designs or these initiatives by the government they are not an act of charity they must not be seen as an act of charity but they have utilitarian benefits they, they should be seen as investment done by the states because the healthier the child is the healthier the infant is the healthier the fetus is in the womb the better workers we would get for running our economy or the the better citizens will have in our future now this aspect is a very straightforward interpretation and but do not just keep talking about this only let's explore further to make our essay interesting what more we can talk about see we can for example discuss that motherhood is not just a biological process hand that rocks the cradle in this we are not just concerned about the biological process of being a mother it's not just the womb and mammary glands which we are concerned about but more motherhood is more about the role of a care provider and the way she nurses a child which is the focus of our attention and discussion so motherhood it calls for years of dedication and sacrifices self sacrifices which a, uh, a mother engages in so that the infant the toddler who cannot even walk properly the toddler grows up into a young adult some day so this must be appreciated and no number of praises no amount of praises and accolades can surface or can completely compensate for the great role the great contributions which mothers are making towards the society now one interesting point which we want to take here that this what if these roles are performed by males uh, the hand that rocks the cradle what if that hand belongs not to a woman but to a male and in 21st in 21st century these strict differentiation between male and female that female takes the roles of a nurse nursing person or she has the task of rearing the child only now these uh, notions are being relooked and today we see a growing number of men who come forward and who take care of their child that might happen in broken families that might happen where the mother might have died due to some accident or so where divorce might have taken place or even in functional families where mothers are also working or due to any other reason everything is fine even then also fathers are coming forward and they are taking care of their child the milk of human kindness i read this poem in my high school in some my school i remember this phrase milk of human kindness this milk of human kindness it can flow from any person irrespective of his gender and his age and such men who take care of their children they should not be discarded as effeminate men but they should be celebrated and glorified as the new symbols of masculinity this is one take which we can take here which can next uh, to make it more interesting we can make a reference to the view of radical feminists radical feminists they have a very different and hostile view on motherhood and they believe according to the view of the radical feminists women in traditional societies year after year they are forced to rear a child they forced to give birth to a child and the entire potential the entire economic potential of a woman she is robbed from it she does not even have a uh, control over her body in the sense she does not have a say in deciding when she wants a child or when she does not want in this way she is being transformed into a child bearing machine now obviously we will not agree to this but we will just mention it and no doubt we will say it very emphatically that no doubt motherhood must not be cursed motherhood must not be cursed but this is also true that women should have greater agency in deciding when they 
should have a child and how do we do that by preventing child marriages and by providing women uh, more accessible more diverse and more affordable ways to prevent pregnancy or birth control initiatives they need to be more affordable more accessible and more diverse now we will uh, go further and explore what uh, some more dimensions of this essay statement hand that rocks the cradle rules the world hand that rocks the cradle rules the world now look into this cradle what does cradle signifies see it is only our interpretation that this essay uh, is talking about a mother or a child but nowhere in this essay this word has been used it is our interpretation and if it is about our interpretation then we must explore as many interesting interpretations as we can make so while the mother child relationship is at the center of this discussion but this metaphor of cradle and the hands can have wide, wider interpretations also at a micro level that section of the society which has been assigned the duty to bring and nurse the next generation or uh, teach them or or rear them shouldn't that also be considered as a hand which uh, uh, which uh, which rocks the cradle and here i am talking about our education system because education system is very much responsible for uh, nursing the children of tomorrow nursing in the sense nursing the values and skills in the in the citizens of tomorrow think about it 40 years down the line our whosoever would be our top bureaucrats our top military men our uh, top industrialists or even our prime ministers and chief ministers 40 years down the line what they are doing today they must be studying in some school or patshala in some corner of our country so the kind of leadership which we get 40 years from now depends upon what skills and values we are providing to our children today and that is, thus it is very much important it is a vital interest to this whole society and nation that we invest in the qualities of our education system and get rid of all the abnormalities which have crept in inside it so the cradle in which the new ideas of tomorrow are sleeping i repeat the cradle in which the new ideas of tomorrow are sleeping we must not leave it unattended in the sense we should take care of that place that space where new ideas are nurturing the children whom we go we see going to school they are the one who will who will take the charge of tomorrow so we should not leave their future unattended in the sense we should not leave that cradle unattended now what more we can write in this essay <clears throat> is this cradle safe or uh, let's see the topic again hand that rocks the cradle rules the world what else cradle could signify cradle could mean the birth place of mankind cradle could mean the place that entity which beholds our future and here i want to make a reference to a poem of my favorite poet w b yeats the poem name is second coming and i'm taking this liberty to make a reference to that poem because time is times and again i have uh, told you in my videos on this channel that how much i like that poem and you how much i to i have told you that you should also go through that so that's why i'm taking this liberty to take a reference to make a reference to that poem w b yeats was friend of rabindranath tagore and he also got nobel prize for himself for his work and his poem and in his poem second coming w b yeats says that such is the chaotic situation around us full of violence it seems as if a pitiless beast a ferocious beast is slouching towards uh, bethlehem and trying to rock the cradle now imagine what if this cradle which symbolizes the 
uh, our whole humanity is being rocked by a beast it is being it is rocked by a beast because values today they have completely eroded in our society and it is quite relevant what happened in the previous century two world wars colonization was there nuclear race threats of biological wars cold war was there terrorism which still continues mankind is sitting on the brink of uh, its self extinction we don't know how many decades we would survive greed and lust is everywhere people are killing each other so in these difficult times this idea that the cradle is being rocked by some beast and how that beast would rule the world it is it is it is an it's a problematic situation and thus we are now we are mo we are moving towards conclusion that that this needs to be addressed we needs to have a relook humanity needs to have a relook and closer introspection in itself that where is it proceeding where is where will all this violence and anarchy lead to okay you can talk about it for a moment here on that now we will uh, we are wrapping up the discussions we are moving towards conclusion and now we can uh, make a reference to uh, situation of mothers in our country for example you can make a reference of how maternal mortality rate is still high it has improved over the years no doubt but if we compare ourselves to developed countries or even developing countries we are still lagging behind many other countries now this maternal mortality ratio it needs to be taken care of and how government needs to invest more in the health sector in general and specifically that which caters to mothers and child and we will make some broad generalizations also here towards our end that as a society we need to get rid of some toxic mentalities and what a paradox it is on the one hand we belong to a civilization which has these ethos of uh, comparing motherhood to goddess divinity and on the other hand if you walk in any street of india you will you can find men abusing other men by making derogatory remarks uh, over their mothers men curse other men by making derogatory remarks over mothers how uh, how ironical it is now this toxic mentality we need to get rid of and we can also add a small point here that no doubt it is very important that we respect women uh, we respect motherhood we glorify motherhood but women should not be pushed to be to, to motherhood especially when due to some reason biological reason or any other reason if they cannot bear a child they must not be stigmatized and such derogatory words such as banj or this kind of stigmatization of uh, women who cannot bear a child all these derogatory references should be dropped from our cultural vocabulary so towards the end we can reiterate the point that mothers in our society they deserve our acknowledgement they deserve our respect they deserve everything good which we can do to them when a mother is bearing a child or or raising a child she is not doing something for her individual gain she is rather contributing in a big way towards the society and these women who bear child they should not be seen as fragile and weak they are not fragile and weak they are very strong because they are contributing to the strength and spine of our country they are contributing to the strength and spine of our society and now we can end here that the hand that rocks the cradle should be strengthened further the hand that rocks the cradle should be strengthened further so on these lines we can end this essay so this is just one of the ways in this essay could have been written this essay could have been written in uh, several other ways also so with this i end it here i hope you this was beneficial to you all thank you